don't have the business of your dreams, then you're currently not the person capable of running it. Who do you have to become to make that business possible? <laughs> I want you to picture what is your dream business? What does it look like? What does your average day look like? What do the people in it look like? What do the results of the business look like? You know, is there an income uh, level that you'd like that business to get to? Uh, is there a culture you'd like that business to have? Is there a cadence you'd like that business to have? Is there a job that you would love, love, love to have daily um, and that you'd just be excited to wake up to work every day? Like, I want you to visualize what that would look like. And I want you to ask yourself how, you know, what's the gap between where you are now and where that vision is? Is there a gap? What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Carrot Cast. Now, the Carrot Cast, we're usually diving in doing interviews with amazing real estate investors, amazing real estate agents. Now, in these episodes, every Thursday, they're the Trevor Truck Talks, where you get to hear behind the scenes of the mindset shifts I'm going through as a CEO of one of the fastest growing companies in America and the mindset shifts you can take to run your business and win back your freedom as well. Let's dive into this episode. I've got something for you to ponder on today. I'm um, driving home from swimming. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I've been swimming twice a week for shoot two or three months now, start off this year, not knowing how to, how to swim at all. I literally couldn't tread water for 20 seconds, couldn't swim the lap of a pool, and now I'm doing all that uh, pretty darn good. I've got a half, uh, I've got a sprint triathlon here coming up in the next couple weeks. So one thing that's on my mind right now is um, uh, we had Carrot Camp about a month ago, and one of the cool things that I've seen come out of Carrot Camp is I always challenge Carrot Campers with becoming clear in who they want to become. You know, who who do you want to become uh, as a person? Now, it's it's really important, of course, to make business goals. And I think that's something that we all are decently good at doing, or at least we know we should do if we're not doing it, right? Uh, we make business goals. And sometimes we'll make some life goals. Sometimes we'll say, hey, I want to achieve this income. I want to build this type of business. I want to do these types of travels. I want to have this type of a relationship, uh, things like that. But the question that oftentimes we don't ask is who's the person I have to become in order to make that possible? So what I'm going to be doing today in this Trevor Truck Talk is I'm going to be diving into the life truths again. And this life truth is called your dream business. And this is just what I was thinking about uh, over the last several months. I'm going, man, you know, because even with Carrot, um, Carrot is my dream business. But right now, as of today, as of the time I'm saying this, uh, it's not my dream job right now. Um, it's hard. It's, it's a hard phase of the business. We're almost 50 employees now. Uh, it, it, require, it requires me to become a different person. You know, it requires me to fundamentally become a better leader, different leader. It requires me to up my accountability on myself and on others. It requires me to coach better. It requires me to be more disciplined myself and, re, and expect that of others as well around me. Um, and I haven't been used to that in the past. I haven't been the person who is going to like put hard accountability on someone, healthy accountability. It's not, I haven't been the person who, um, you know, who has... Uh, been challenging those directly around me to grow, you know, uh, faster than they've ever grown before. I've always been like, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I have a soft spot for them, and um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm growing really fast. Doesn't mean that they have to grow really fast. And uh, as I start to look at, you know, what is my dream business, um, I realized uh, this little quote here says, "Dream business. Don't have the business of your dreams." then you're currently not the person capable of running it. Who do you have to become to make that business possible? So let me read that again. <clears throat> I want you to picture what is your dream business? What does it look like? What does your average day look like? What do the people in it look like? What are the results of the business look like? You know, is there an income uh, level that you'd like that business to get to? Uh, is there a culture you'd like that business to have? Is there a cadence you'd like that business to have? Is there a job that you would love, love, love to have daily um, and that you'd just be excited to wake up to work every day. Like, I want you to visualize what that would look like. And I want you to ask yourself how, you know, what's the gap between where you are now and where that vision is? Is there a gap? If there's a gap, where? Yeah, I challenge you to pause this podcast and write it down. Okay, well, here's, here's the, the business I want to have. Here's where it is now. You know, here's my role that I want to have. Here's my role now. Here's the things I do right now on, on an average day or week. And here's what I would like to do. Here's the income that I'd like to get to, and here's where I am now. Like, write all those things down. And then what you're doing is you're creating a gap. And that gap has to be filled by growth. That gap usually is not going to be filled by doing the same things over and over again. The gap is usually not going to be filled by you being the same person next year or in two years from now than you are today. 
And the way that you fill that gap, as long as it's you know something big, if, if, if the gap is big enough, you have to become fundamentally someone different. Now, am I saying that you as a person, you know, like you as a person, a husband, a, wi a wife, a, a friend, a father, that you have to become a worse version of yourself? No, what I'm talking about is you've got to become a better version of yourself probably in every part of life in order to achieve that business goal. So let me read this again. Okay, let me read this again. And this is hot on my mind right now because, you know, the challenges I'm going through with business, I'm like, damn, you know, I've got this vision for where I want to go with it, but there, I'm, I'm obviously not there because I'm not currently the person capable of running that. So it says, dream business. Don't have the business of your dreams, then you're currently not the person capable of running it. Who do you have to become to make that business possible? Now, the thing is, too, let's let's put this over to relationships, okay? Let's put this over to physical fitness. Let's say that you have a dream to get in the best shape of your life this year. Let's say you have a dream to do a, a triathlon, an Ironman. Let's say you have a dream to go travel the world. Let's say you have a dream to, you know, finally find that spouse. Let's say you have this dream uh, that's a big leap from where you are now, the same principle applies. It's like, if you were already the person who is capable of that dream, who is capable of attracting your ideal spouse, you would probably have that ideal spouse, right? If you were already the person who is capable of uh, the habits and disciplines of the physical fitness of getting in the best shape of your life, you would probably already be there, right? And so what this should do for you is should, should motivate us, right? This should motivate us. It shouldn't put us down and go, oh my gosh, I'm not the kind of person who, who can get there. It's like, no, you're not the person today who can, who can be living that. That's why you're not living it, right? That's why you're not living it because you're not the person today who can, who can, who's capable of doing that. So the question is, who do you have to become in order to be capable of chasing your biggest dreams? Who do you have to become right now today uh, with your disciplines, with your habits, with your mindset, with your schedule, uh, in order to be to get in the best shape of your life, what do you have to change? You know, is there a person out there that you really look up to and you're like, you know what, their habits and discipline, they're crushing it in this area. I want to start to adopt theirs. And I know that I can't get to the base shape, base shape of my life unless I do that. I need to fundamentally become a better person in that area. Okay, let's say it's business. Let's say it's business. And right now, uh, like I said, I'm just shy of 50 employees. Uh, never dreamed that we would ever have this many many team members, full time team members. This doesn't doesn't include uh, contractors. Doesn't include anything like that. It's you know, full time salaried employees. So as I'm looking at this, go man, you know, I'd, I'd love to be spending more time in marketing strategy. I'd love to be spending more time, you know, kind of working big deals. I'd love to have a little bit more flexibility. It's not that I don't have it. It's that I don't take it during my day because I'm still kind of I kind of bought back some some uh, busy work that I didn't have before. So how can I buy back my time again? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not currently, uh, you know, the best coach that, that I can be for my leaders, partly because I need that extra little bit of discipline in my schedule to, to free up my mind space so I can best coach them and best have the ability to coach them. And so if I really want that flexibility, if I really want to be a better coach, if I really want to work in my unique abilities within strategy, within coaching, within content, within big thinking more, and not having to dive into some of the details like I currently am right now, who do I have to become? It's not going to be just me, me doing a Google, you know, a, a, a Google search and finding a better productivity hack. Like that, that's not going to fix it. And that's what, all, that's what oftentimes we look for, y'all. Oftentimes we're looking for hacks. We're looking for something that we can plug in that comes from the external, that comes from outside of us, that doesn't require us to change. We're, we're looking for the extra book that's going to solve it for us. We're looking for the extra productivity tool that's going to solve it for us. We're looking for the team member outside of us that's going to solve it for us. And sometimes that is the answer. Sometimes the who is the answer rather than the how or the what. Like sometimes that's the answer, but then the next question is, are you the person that can lead and coach that who well so they truly can achieve the output, the outcome that you're looking to have, that you're looking to have happen? And if so, awesome, go hire that person. If not, what do you need to learn and who do you need to become to become that person who can lead the who well so you can reach your dream, your dream, your dream job, your dream business? And for many of you, this might be flying over your head, and that's totally fine because it would it would have for me as well back in the first one, two, three years of my journey. Because all I was looking for in the first one, two, three years of my journey was hacks. 
I was learning, I was soaking things up, I was reading books, that's all valuable. You should definitely be doing that. But don't think that the outside, the external is gonna change you inside. Now, it could influence it. It could spark something within you. Okay, that book or that mentor or that blog post or that tool, it could spark something within you that makes it easier for you to become the person that you want to become and that you need to become. Okay, it can, it can be the spark for you. But the real change has to happen within you. The real change has to happen within the conviction you have in your mind and your heart that you know what, I want this so bad, I can no longer continue to be the person I am in these areas. And I'll just be transparent with you, uh, with you guys here. I have an amazing business. I have an amazing life, amazing family. So grateful for our team. Yeah, there's challenges. There's definitely challenges. But so grateful for our team, y'all. You know, I, I make more money than I ever thought that I would ever make. Uh, in, in one year, I, I make more money in one year than I thought I would make in 20 years, you know, if you would have asked me 10 years ago, right? And I don't say any of that to brag. I say that because I got to that point because I had to fundamentally become a different person over the last three, four, five years in order to achieve that. But now to get to the next level as a husband, get to the next level as a father, next level as a, as a leader, to get to the next level in business, to really make my job, my daily, weekly job exactly what I want, I've now got to up level to be become a different person. I'm heading out of the truck to go into go into the office now. But you know, how do I have to be, how do I have to change? One of the big dragons I have not slayed yet, and I'm gonna slay it, 100 percent gonna slay it. Is guys, I need to wake up earlier. And it's something I've talked with my wife about. It's something that, you know, we've we've looked at, and I just usually go to bed a little bit too late. You know, I go to bed at 10 30, 11 o'clock, sometimes 11 30, every now and then midnight. And that's just not conducive to me getting my best work done because I'll oftentimes stay up because I love my, def, my, love my wife to death, but she likes watching the TV shows. And so um, we'll put the kids to bed. And I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this, but we'll could put the kids to bed and then you know, flip on a TV show. I, I really could go without TV in my life uh, fully. I, I could totally go without TVs at all. Um, but she enjoys it, and I want to spend time with her while she's doing something that she enjoys. And so I'll flip on the TV with her. We'll sit there and watch it. One show goes by, then it becomes pretty darn easy to bake that into the rest of the night. You know, one show goes by, and then, oh, shoot, the next one. Netflix rolled me right into another show, right? Two shows go by, and then all of a sudden it's 10.30, and all of a sudden, well, shoot, then we're talking, and we're already in this we're already in this bad mindset now because we've been watching these TV shows versus reading or versus improving ourselves or casting vision or really talking as a couple. And this is something that, both of us want to change in our lives. We need to snap these habits out. And so then I'll go to bed at 11 o'clock. And then it's really hard to get up at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning to tackle the day with the full focus I need. And so then what happens? You stroll right in, get the kids up at 6.30, get them ready. I take them to school every day. I uh, get them to school. Uh, then I head to the gym to work out or go for a swim. And then I'm right into my morning. Right? I'm right into my morning. So if you think about that, the big stuff that I need to improve on just currently doesn't have room right now in my existing current schedule uh, for me to fundamentally become that better person, that different person, that person who can be capable of running the business of my dreams here in the future. Okay? The business I have now is the business of my dreams from five years ago. But the business I have now is not the business of my dreams in one, two, three years from now. And so I've got to become a different person. And so I want you guys to be on, on this journey with me as I slay that dragon, the fitness dragon. I've been hitting really, really hard the past three, four years because I knew that's part of what I needed to do to become a better person. You know, I needed to nail the fitness. I needed to get my energy back. I needed to um, become a better example there. I needed to not have afternoon energy crashes. And so that part I've really baked into my life, okay? Um, I've started to become a lot better coach, really, purposefully change the way I'm showing up and coaching my leaders and my team and giving a lot less advice and a lot more and asking a lot more questions. Am I there yet? Heck no. I've got a long way to grow. But am I way better today than I was a year ago? Yeah, for sure. 100% am. So the next thing for me is I just need the mind space to be able to plan well. I need the mind space to be able to um, really think strategically. I need the mind space to think big. And uh, this next one's my challenge is let me shift the way I'm addressing my, my evenings. Let you know, my wife and I really dive in and 
and learn what our next cadence is going to be to grow closer to each other and to eliminate the distraction of TV as much as we can and uh, really bake in what's most meaningful in our lives. It's connection, it's learning, it's growth. It's not passive sitting in front of a TV, okay? We're looking at Instagram. And so that's my challenge. I want you guys to follow along as I head into the office. Um, how am I doing on my, my, my challenge? I'm going to start waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm starting tomorrow. I'm going to start posting it. I'm, I'm probably not going to hit it every day, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work that into my life. And then I'm going to see if I can't move to 430 and uh, I believe that that's the next that's the next plateau. That's the next way to get to that next level, to become a different version of myself, to become better prepped, to become you know, more aware, things like that. So as I wrap up and head into the office, I want you guys to think about this for yourself. You know, once again, what is the vision of your ideal business? What is the vision of your ideal life, your ideal marriage, your ideal relationship, your ideal physical fitness, your ideal health, your ideal, you know, um, uh, recreation time, what's that vision? And then I want you to ask yourself and write it down on a piece of paper, where are you at right now, okay? Create that gap, you have to have a gap in order to grow. Okay, if you don't have a gap mentally between where you wanna go and where you are now, you will not have the motivation to grow. It just will not happen, okay? So I want you guys to create that gap. And once you have that gap, I want you to write down, who do you need to become in order to achieve that? Who do you need to become? Do you need to, do you need to adopt different habits, different disciplines? Do you need to... Uh, change the way you're showing up? If so, write those down. And I want you to tackle that in your life right now. Uh, otherwise, you will not be capable of running the business of your dreams, of having the relationship of your dreams, of having the recreation time of your dreams, of having the physical fitness and health of your dreams. You will not be capable of that unless you become a better version of yourself. So guys, head over to carrot.com forward slash energy, carrot.com forward slash energy. Uh, grab my energy audit. That'll be a really, really good jumpstart for you uh, in, in this journey. And of course, make sure you subscribe and like this podcast if you're getting any value out of it. All right, guys, heading into the office to record a couple podcasts myself. And uh, we'll talk soon.